Alright, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. Why is why so late getting this one out? Well, it's for a good reason. I don't know why this movie exists in the first place. Alright, Silent Hill Revelations in 3D. But I have to say, I don't know why it exists again because the last one, the very first movie, ended with a nice little ribbon at the end and told me exactly how everything is supposed to end. So we have a second one. In my mind, what I'm thinking is they were going to go for the whole Jason thing. You know how the mother was in the first one, did the killing, and then all of a sudden, Jason Voorhees exists, and he's, like, killing people. I thought that was what I'm going to expect. In reality, that's not exactly what I was come to believe. This movie is actually a sequel to the other one, believe it or not, and the story does take off from where the last one ended. Again, believe it or not. Okay, so for those of you who are confused just as much as I am about why this movie exists, well, I'm going to try and explain it to you. So the daughter is transported back from the Silent Hill dead zombie world into the reality of world with her father. Um, okay, yeah, mm, that, I guess you're going to just have to take it for a grain of salt because, well, I had to. Though, so for those of you who... Look, the mother does not exist in this movie, it's just the father and daughter this time. Now, as far as the story goes, they're trying to get this daughter, who's now about 18, back into Silent Hills so they can do their evil deed. As the evil version of her still exists back in this world. But, yes, maybe you can question the part here because I'm pretty sure they ended that one off too. But she's, she's still there and, well, I guess... Take that for a minute salt as well. So obviously they get what they want. She's back in Silent Hill. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a movie. For why she's there, uh, we mostly know, and for sometimes and some occasions in this movie, she also knows things that we just don't know why she knows. But she does. So again, more grains, more salt. As far as scary horror goes in this movie, I'm going to have to write out straight up to tell you it's not scary. It tries to do jump scares in this one, uh, which the other one didn't do at all. I don't... Or, it did better if it did, because this one is trying, but not succeeding. It's really, it does fail a lot at the jump scares, but it does do well again in this whole creepy, weird monster thing, and, and that kind of idea. Though where I give the other one credit for not seeming to me like a video game, this one does seem to me like a video game. There's Parts of it seems like there's boss battles, and mini boss battles in the middle of the movie, so... I have to say, this one really played itself as a video game. There's not a whole lot more I can tell you with this one. Uh, the father reprises his role, but once again, not a lot of detail to his role. This is just about the daughter, who's now 18. She takes the main role. Uh, there's also this other guy that comes into the movie and basically becomes a love interest. I have to say that was the worst part of the movie because I, I just I couldn't take that. He comes in, they fall in love instantaneously, you don't buy it. I don't care who you are out there, you don't buy it. And you just have to take it. Yeah. You finished it for me. I really have to point it out. Did not really care for him. Or his role, or his character, or anything that he represented in this movie. So I feel if Tack was here, he'd be doing some kind of word of the day on grain, or salt, or NACL. I'm not too sure. He might have put that extra spin on there. And so as far as this one goes, and in comparison to the other one, the other one I still, I like to look at it like it is its own standalone movie and that this one and if they ever do anything else that comes out of this because I, I mean I, I can't tell anymore is something of it altogether different. On to rating and now in this one because I don't really know why it exists in the first place and I still don't know that after this one's done so this one's gonna get a 1.5 out of also 5 cheese heads on to the next review.